Next question is from Ryan W. Richards. What's your opinion on the sun's relationship to wellness? We are told to stay out of it, but there's increasing research showing the benefits of sunshine for our overall health. What are your thoughts on the validity of the competing research? Okay, so I'll tell you a story that'll kind of tell you, that'll that'll illustrate the misinformation or I think miscommunication mm. we've gotten in regards to the sun. So if you were to hook somebody up to a bunch of machinery that would test things like free radical production, uh, inflammatory markers, stress hormones, like all the stuff that typically, you know, if you see them rise, uh oh, this isn't a good thing. Working and, out would look bad. And yeah, you hook someone yeah. up and you train them, um, it would it would look very bad, especially if you train them too hard. If I take the wrong, if I take a person and I train them in, inappropriately and train them too hard, I guarantee we're going to see. Oh, especially over time, damage to their heart, uh, poor joint health is going to suffer. You might even see hormonal imbalances and lots of health issues. And so the, the the headline could read, workouts cause lots of problems, don't do them. So this is what's happened with the sun. When you get a sunburn or you get sun damage, yeah, that's not good for you. But does that mean not you shouldn't go out in the sun? No, it's, just, it's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. We humans evolved just like everything else on Earth, except for things that live at the bottom of the ocean uh, or in caves, with the sun. We literally need sunshine, not just for physiological benefits, but for psychological benefits. You know how many studies there are that show that if you're feeling down or anxious, if you just go out and get some sun, well, talk about that changes. Talk about mm -hmm. what we did yesterday. Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. Uh, this is, uh, this is a, a conversation off air that we have uh, uh, quite frequently. I mean, I think... Uh, the one drawback of this, you know, this new profession that we have, you know, relatively new in the last five years, uh, the, the biggest drawback that we all agree on is is the lack of sun exposure that we get and outside, just getting fresh air, getting the sun. We get we're locked in this little you know cave when we got fluorescent lights on us. We have no windows in it, and we could get stuck in here for hours on hours all day long. And you could tell, you can feel the mood totally. Mm -hmm. You can feel our energy levels start to sink. That's why we actually back in the days we used to record sometimes three three four podcasts in a single day. And one of the reasons why we got away from doing that was because we could feel our energy and our mood change by episode two or three that we'd record because we, we were just stuck under these fluorescent lines. And it's just, and I eat, t can tell an immediate difference when we just go out like we did yesterday. Everybody was kind of feeling lethargic, tired. We were in a bad mood. We we're t handling bullshit. And we all said, you know what? Let's just get up and go for a 20-minute walk outside in the sun. And we all did that and come back completely re-energized. Um, I, I guess when I was younger, I just didn't really pay attention to these things. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know if it's part of getting older and how much I depend on it now more and it's more necessary than when I was younger or I was just oblivious to it or maybe I was just getting a lot more sun. Mm -hmm. But it's a big game changer for me today. I mean, I, I do. I do things. We were just back when we were back up in Tahoe like a, lot, a week or two ago. You know, I, I wasn't feeling good. Uh, remember, I was really down. Yeah. I was like really exhausted. And I went and laid out uh, in the sun and just d took everything off, put a little pair of shorts on and just let the sun, just soak up the sun for a few hours because I feel like I've been neglecting it. So, and I feel immediate difference from doing that. So I think that, uh, and I think it's, uh, I think this is an area that it's a reason why a company like I think Juve is on exploding and on the rise uh, because you do get some of the benefits from the infrared like that that you get from the sun. And I think so many people today, especially in the Silicon Valley, are under these fluorescent lights in closed buildings all day long. Dude, we weren't meant to be locked into rooms without sunlight. This is how we evolved. Mm. And there's an individual variance, of course. Yeah. You know, if you're pale, too much sun is not that much for somebody who's dark, and too much sun can cause sun damage. But you know what the the the, the side effect of telling everybody the sun's bad for you has happened? Cancer rates have gone up in some places because people are so afraid of the sun, and they're constantly putting on sunscreens with these chemicals that are, yeah. you know, uh, that mess with your that actually. Uh, are almost hormone, uh, hormone like in the way that they can behave in the body, and you see skin cancer rates go down a little bit, and all other cancer rates go up. You need sunlight. Yeah, and this is something I'm conscious of. Obviously, <laughs> I'm a ghost <laughs> over here, uh, and my kids are ghosts. But uh, at the same time, uh, there's, there's, you know, when you're going to be in in a more intense sun exposure kind of situation, and so uh, there's actually a lot more tech 
like type of shirts that actually like uh, prevent you from getting too much UV uh, that you can wear and you can go swimming in. And it's a way better alternative than all these like chemicals and, and greasy, you know, like uh, uh, sunblocks that you're trying to put on constantly. Uh, so, you know, that's something that we'll, we'll use that. We'll wear hats or whatever, if we're like in like super intense sun uh, exposure for too long. But for the most part, I'm trying to get as much sun as I can and then backing out and then coming in. And it's, you just got to kind of find your own tolerance to it. Well, I'm glad Sal brought up the individual variants. Cause I mean, I mean, I think there's a lot to do with like epigenetics and stuff like that with this. And you take somebody like your family history that mm. goes back to like the Mediterranean and stuff like that. You, I would think you need it even more than Justin. Needs I do. It. I think I need it more than Justin. Darker either. skin people yeah. synthesize less vitamin D uh, from sun exposure. Yeah. It, it, we need more sun exposure to get the same effects as somebody who's who's right. light skinned. Um, so there's just like there's an individual variance for workouts or anything else. Yeah, we but, just covered this in an episode right. talking about that. This goes in this category right here, and this could like what we're talking about right now could be an absolute game changer for you. You could be somebody that has evolved to be someone who needs a lot more sun than your friend. Mm -hmm. yeah. You might have a Justin friend who doesn't need that much sun. You can only be so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> you, know I mean? you know, and if you have a friend like that, he he doesn't need but maybe 10, 15 minutes a day of that where I feel like I need at least like a half hour to an hour of like good sun exposure every day to feel really good. And I notice a huge difference when I'm going after it and when I'm not. Everybody needs a Casper. <laughs>